Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. So today I want to take a look at another Jay Gordon image. And I added his website. I added a link to his website in my user's guide. What I did was I updated my user's guide with a few more examples of modern artists and how they're using the harmonic armature. One thing I want to stress with my new user's guide is I tried to give as many examples as modern artists using the harmonic armature because I feel it's really important when it comes to teaching this information. As I mentioned in the past, there's just too much speculation going on in this arena and I do as much research as I can. My website is a research hub. It's a non-commercial hub for artists that want to learn more about the Atelier movement, composition in general, and just art in general. So when you come to my website, I'm not selling any products. It is just, like I said, it's a hub that you can use to find other information. I've spent a lot of years gathering information to make this easier to learn. One problem with the arena of learning composition, all the information scattered out on the internet. And if you don't know what you're looking for, you're going to have a difficult time finding it. What I've done with my website is I've gathered up this information and I put it in one location to help artists find what they're looking for in the easiest possible way. And I do update my user's guide occasionally, not as much as I used to. But if I find more examples of modern artists using the harmonic armature, also known as a 14-line grid, I will add it to my website and my user's guide. But what you see on my screen is an image by Jay Gordon. I'm not sure if it's a photograph or a drawing, but it really doesn't matter because you can use the harmonic armature grids in photography if you crop or whatever. It doesn't matter to me how you apply it, but design is important. As an artist, whether you're a photographer if you draw a paint, it doesn't matter. You have to understand what the armature is, and that's what the harmonic armature. So let me show you what this image looks like with a rule of thirds grid on it. All right, here's the rule of thirds grid, and every artist and photographer is pretty much familiar with the rule of thirds. As I've said in the past, the rule of thirds is a legitimate concept because it's derived from the harmonic armature. I do have videos on this, and you can check them out on my website or YouTube, etc. But when you're dealing with the rule of thirds, you can get an idea of where to place it, and and Jay Gordon's giving an idea of what you can do. But the problem is it doesn't give you a precise view or a more flexible view of where to place your your subject in the frame. And that's what composition is. Composition is creating divisions that relate to the outer rectangle, but it's it's also in simpler terms, it's it's where you're going to place your subjects, where you're going to put your dominant horizontal, vertical, and diagonal line. With the rule of thirds, you can use it, but if you want more flexibility in your work and more stronger compositions the harmonic armature is the next step and let me show you what that looks like all right here's the photograph of the harmonic armature the the beautiful thing about the harmonic armature it's a one grid approach you don't need grid packs with hundreds of different grids like you have in dynamic symmetry and that's one of the reasons i stepped away from dynamic symmetry because this is a much simpler system of design it's been around forever the harmonic armature relates to music, and you can learn more about that in my user's guide or the book Classical Painting Atelier. Juliet Aristides gives a great description of how the harmonic armature relates to music. But it's always the same 14 lines, and with this one grid approach, you can learn at a much quicker rate than you can with dynamic symmetry. Myron Barnstone once said, in, in an interview that it took him two years to teach dynamic symmetry. That's crazy. When you're dealing with learning this information, if you go to an atelier, it generally it's around four years. You're not going to spend two years on composition, and you don't have to. You can learn the harmonic armature very, very quickly. Because you're always dropping down the same lines, and Jay Gordon talks about this too, when you're dealing with repetition, it's much quicker to learn than if you're dealing with a bunch of different various specific sized rectangles to use in dynamic symmetry. The harmonic armature, you can drop the 14 lines down on any size rectangle. It doesn't matter. And it just makes learning much easier and a lot more fun. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight in red 
how the artist is framing in their subject and also using some of the diagonal lines and the horizontal and vertical division. So let me show you. Wherever two or more lines intersect, you can drop a vertical or horizontal line. If I drop one right here, I'm locking in the side of the head. I can drop another division here. Notice how the artist is using the angles in the armature here. Also at this point here with the fingers. And then I can drop another vertical here where these lines intersect. So it's framing in the head. And then I have another division, I believe, right here. Actually, it's right there. You have another one there. But you also have this diagonal line being played out in the face, right? You have this finger here. You also have a horizontal line right here where the beard runs this way. And that's what these diagonal lines there. And it also gets this finger right here. So you can see how the artist with just a few lines is locking their subject into place. And no, that's not one there. But just with five or six lines dropped in addition to the grid, you can see how the artist has locked in the frame, locked in the head, and is also using many of the diagonal lines in the armature. And you can play around with this all you want. Jay Gordon has a, a several illustrations of how you can use this. It's a great website. I Like I said, I linked to it under my recommendations. And I also have links to it in my user's guide, which I just updated, I believe, yesterday. So check it out. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it, as always.